y equals cos cubed to the x. And you want to derive that, right? Yeah. So first, like, how would you go about this? The only thing that's confusing me is how the cos is cubed. All right, so what this means is it's just like a way to write cos x, all of this cubed. Okay. So okay, so you're cube? kind of doing cos x times cos x times cos x. Yeah. So does that, does that make it easier? So from Good. here, it essentially turns into a chain rule problem where your u is cos x. Yeah. So then your problem becomes y equals u cubed is what you're solving. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then using chain rule, we know that dy on dx, so y dash is going to be dy on du times du on dx. Mm -hmm. So in this case, our u is cos x, so then our du on dx is going to be, so what's cos x derived? Negative sine x. Yep, so sine cos negative sine. So yeah, cos derives to negative sine. So we're gonna have negative sine x there. So this is what this part is. That's negative sine x. Mm -hmm. And what's, u, what's this derived? So what's dy on du? Uh, 3u squared. Yep, that's just using our power rule. Mm -hmm. So this part is going to be 3u squared. So now, um, so we know that this is going to be, so three times negative anything, it's just, let's say negative one. So it's gonna be negative three, u squared sine x. And then we know that u is cos x. So we need to swap that back in. Um, so that's going to be negative three cos squared x sine x. Yeah. So yeah, just remember cos x, all of it squared can be written as cos squared x. Yeah. So it ends up being this then.